What's going on everyone? Seth here with Disc Golf Strong. Just got back from Vermont for the uh, World Championships at Smuggler's Notch. Had an amazing time. Cannot wait to go back. Definitely a bucket list if you have not been there before. Uh, seven days just almost wasn't enough for me. Um, I wanted to touch briefly on a topic that you know, I had quite a few conversations about at Worlds and I've had this with other people in the past, uh, but at Worlds it was brought up a few times with some of the athletes and also with some of the spectators. Uh, but first off, I just want to give a shout out and a big thank you to Jeff Spring, the TD up at Worlds. Dude, thank you for having me up there and allowing me to have a space to train the athletes. I know they greatly appreciated it and felt good about it and so did I, dude. So thanks again. Can't wait to see you. Um, so this topic is about the difference between feeling loose and being loose. So, you know, in disc golf, we want to we want to get loose. I hear that a lot. Like, oh, I want to be loose when I play. And yes, you want to feel loose. You don't want to feel like you're carrying a lot of tension in your body. But when you are expressing yourself on the course through movement athletically, we need to have that tension, that stability and that strength in our muscles, in our joints, okay? To be able to express all the power uh, that we want to impart into our body, through our body into the disc, okay? So we need to, when I say be loose, it really means that we need to have good joint mobility. We need to be able to have a good relationship between our strength and our mobility so that we are not restricted. So if I'm coming through to throw, that my joint here is not so gunked up, okay, that I can't get full range of mobility. I want to have full range of mobility but I need to actually have stability while I'm doing it. So stability is just controlled mobility, okay? So my joint is loose in the sense that I can express that full range of motion when I'm throwing, okay? I'm not stopped because of some sort of restriction, but I don't want a loose joint. So if I'm doing a bunch of static stretch holding, and you know, I've have, I have uh, videos out there about why you shouldn't static stretch, uh, before uh, you throw, before you play, and also, you know, why I don't really recommend a lot of yoga poses before you play, and I'll put another video out about later about my thoughts on yoga for disc golf. But if I'm doing, let's say, really a lot of joint mobility work, okay, where I'm just getting that loose in there, but I'm not also doing the stability work, okay, then when I go to throw, it's gonna be moving around, it's be, it could be rattling around in there, and it's going to uh, increase my risk of injury, okay, and pain in that joint. So when I throw, I wanna express that full range of motion, but I want all these stabilizing muscles around my joint, okay, to help me move through there and control that range of motion, okay? So I wanna feel loose, but I don't wanna be loose. I wanna have controlled range of motion in all my joints, okay? So that's the difference. So feel loose, but don't be loose. And I'll, I'll have more videos about this later. I know I threw a lot out there, but just think of that concept, okay? So that's why I push out so much stability work, shoulder taps, okay, uh, you know, glute bridges, half kneeling stuff, a lot of stability and strength while under control kind of exercises so that we're getting range of motion, but we're also doing it and being strong and stable at the same time. So hope that helps. Leave any questions or comments below or feel free to reach out to me on Facebook or Instagram. Uh, have a great day, everyone, and go play disc golf strong.